Which is possible, because this has a lot of RNG involved in it. Um, the problems may arise. As such, every time I have to reset a level, I will be donating $10 to GDQ. Every time I fall off the barrels in the sewer level, I will be donating $10 to GDQ. There is an upper limit to this because I like being able to afford food. Um, <laughs> because this run goes so quick, I do want to very quickly give a brief overview of this. Um, we have seven levels to go through, but it kind of takes a Mega Man style approach to things. Not Mega Mem, but Mega Man. Um, you can choose to do the six levels in technically any order. Uh, and you get a permanent upgrade for every two levels you beat. Uh, and then you unlock the final seventh stage. Yep. I say you can technically do them in any order because there's one level you're not meant to do early. We do that first because uh, the upgrade you get from beating that speeds things along so very, very much. And with that, I think that's about everything I need to get out of the way. Um, commentary yeah, couch. I think so. Are you ready? Uh yeah, I'm good to go. I, I was I was born ready for this. Well, I'm that's not weird. I'm not sure I'm ready because this game is really, really cruel and evil. But uh, movement uh, or time starts on first movement in Bart's room. So we will go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Eat pant. The first thing we do is go into Bart's closet, where two fictional levels are, and we go into Death of a Space Mutant, the first level. That's where which, the pant is, too. We're not, fictional levels, as we're, opposed to the non-fictional levels? Pretty much, yeah. Fictional in the world. We're not meant to do this level first. That trolley takes off a full third of our health. Um, so instead of getting hit by that, we kind of use Mercy Invincibility from the Space Mutant on that screen. Uh... And yeah, we need 30 shots to make it through to the next section. We then come across this robot here, which kind of, while this is alive, it blocks off uh, the sides of the screen. We can't leave, so if you don't have certain upgrades, that's meant to kill you. Yep. However, we have timed this very, very carefully, figured out how to get just enough ammo and health to get through this, so we're fairly safe there. We... It's worth noting that while the robot doesn't let you leave the screen, uh, if you mistime your shots and don't realize a shot is going to kill it, if it hits you, it can knock you off the end of the screen if you kill it before it hits you. And then yeah, the robot to respawns. to note that Faizu missed one shot. I'm calling you Faizu on stream. That's fine. Uh, Faizu missed with one shot and actually got down to zero ammo. Had he missed a second shot, that would have been a death. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yep, there's only one free spot in this level to actually farm ammunition. So every shot's going to count as much as possible. That's oh, the first yeah. level. We're on to Itchy and Scratchy. This level well, is a gauntlet of death. We I love this level. We can't hurt anything on this level. Uh, everything on this level hurts us a lot. Uh, you know what, we'll just take the bomb damage there. Uh, this is basically just a straight gauntlet and almost everything you are seeing is RNG. Um, the direction that's my favorite level. The direction. It's so no, I hate this. <laughs> it's impossible. The direction Scratchy faces when he uh, swings his mallet. That's RNG. The place where Itchy drops things or throws things. That's RNG. Uh, on the next screen, which we're about to see, all of these exploding footballs. Complete RNG. This also, level is a nightmare. The mallet, even when it's not being swung, will deal like a full quarter of your health bar if you yeah. just walk into it when it's immobile. Oh, it's worse. It's, it's weird. third. But for doing the that, third. We, we got the, the cool shoes as our upgrade, um, which let us jump halfway across the screen and make the run much, much faster. Uh, this screen... Except you weren't really supposed to have them at this point. Uh, no, the game is not balanced around you having them. Um, this screen is awful whether you're doing it casually or whether you're doing it with the jump shoes. Um, you have those bats which like to knock you off, and then you have these thin planks which uh, can knock you down to the previous screen, and of course they've got spikes on them which retract. It's, uh, it's perfect. This level hates you. Uh, we're actually going to yeah. take that spray can for safety's sake. I do Honestly... actually... Uh, this probably took me an hour, this level. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it... Uh, the marshmallow spider, I just love him. It's a very good spider. He's so dead. <laughs> That's three levels done. Now we move into the basement, which is a level which, in speedrun attempts, this scares me. Uh, casually, not so much. Or uh, with, with the safety straps, not so much. That's mostly because of what happens at the end of this stage. 
uh, which we'll get to. Um, here's, here's the Babysitter Bandit. So this game came out roughly around the time of... Would have been about halfway through season three, three of The Simpsons, yeah. It was 91, late 91, early 92. This is the problem with this level, these skeletons. Uh, those graves, like the uh, punk, punk is dead and it's buried in The Simpsons basement. Uh, they're yep. instant death pits. Skeletons do a lot of knockback. Um, normally we would just kind of risk the knockback, but uh, it's safer for a marathon to... The right, dozens of times it. you'll die hmm. yeah. playing it's that this level. Yeah, is breaking in the only time you use like the secondary fire stuff. It is indeed. Uh, everything no, he used it in the in the attic. Everything falling from the screens on these two stages are RNG or these two screens. We've actually managed to also, avoid everything that fell from the screens. Keep in mind, this is this is the first stage that the game intends you to play. Pretty more much, or less. yeah. And it's yeah. it's it's not it's not okay. Like, the end of this stage is just a disaster, especially if you can't jump very far. destroy your health, too. Yeah, they really do. Uh, we completely ignore this spider, and we get onto the sewer barrels. So, the purple barrels we can stay on for as long as we want. The yellow barrels, the instant they reach the bottom of the screen, they stop being platforms. Um, which is obviously not good. Okay, that's $10 to GDQ. Someone keep track of this for me. <laughs> These barrels yeah, are a nightmare. All barrel movement, incidentally, is, once again, RNG. So, uh, yeah, you kind of just have to hope for a decent cycle with this. There's Blinky, the three-eyed fish. Aww. Another nice little Simpsons reference. There are a lot of references to early Simpsons games in this. Uh, or, sorry, early Simpsons episodes. That's 20 no, Blinky, no! <laughs> I didn't know Blinky could hit you! Yeah. I've never seen that before. I well, have seen that before, unfortunately. All right. Five so bingo's for you. That's uh, happened before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him where I can get him. All right. How do you is... feel about a donation? I'm sorry, go ahead. You know what? Go for it. Go for a donation. All right, wonderful. Jade Strike sent in $5. Says, hello, Fizey. Jade Strike here. Glad to see you on Awful Block with an awful game. But I wonder, what is a silly cat like you doing with pants? And your c it would be a shame if someone stole them on you. Stay you away like... from my pants. <laughs> that's a, to explain. That's an in joke. Uh, there's there's nothing sinister about that. Um, this level, we need to pick up five coins so that Bart can go to the cinema to see a Space Mutants movie because he hasn't had enough of those. Also, get ready to spam Goose emotes again, chat. I know that you've got them. Yeah, you got them. Come on. This, there's a goose. The goose. This is the level where I feel bad that I routed out half the stage because there's a whole like mall section. Yeah. But when I started running the game, I'm like, well, what if you do the levels in this order? And if you bring the glasses here, there's more coins. So you don't need to go into the mall. And the mall is full of references. Yeah, it is. Yeah, from the, the second two levels we do, we get the x-ray glasses, which make more pickups appear. And uh, from the two levels we did just then, we get the hat, which means the robot lasers on the first level we did don't hurt us. But that's the Get first ready level for the did. worst waterfall level ever in any video game ever. This includes the Lion King. Does someone want to explain why this waterfall is so bad? Yeah, I, I'll be happy to. So one thing that you, you may have noticed too with the sewer level is that Bart has very specific entry points to every screen he goes on. And so you get set at that, but you keep the momentum you had in, in both the X and the Y direction when you left the last screen. So with the logs, um, if you don't enter with like zero momentum, there's a good chance you just fall and die. Well, you fall and you, you have to do it all over again. Yeah, all of this took me, uh, what he just did in about one minute, I think took me three or four hours. Welcome to if you, the, if, the screen, which I like to call, guess what's part of the foreground and what's a pitch <laughs> that will kill you. You're not only guessing the foreground background, what you can walk on, but if you just fall off the wrong section of that screen, you're dead. That's it. GG. By the, every collectible that Pfizer got during that section as well is required. If you do not collect a single one, you cannot beat the boss. You yep, cannot you kill Sideshow Bob. You need 13 shots to kill Sideshow Bob. We're coming up on time and time. 
There's a backup in the cave, and you can throw some water balloons at him too to kill him. Yeah, there are another two shots in there, but yeah, that level pretty much gives you uh, 13 shots unless you go hunting out for more. You can't backtrack to get any extras or anything like that, and you need all 13. You can only hit Sideshow Bob in the head. And, yeah, and uh, yeah. It's, uh, Hitting Sideshow Bob is, is a lot harder than it looks to. If you, if you, yeah. like, if you fire once at Sideshow Bob's torso, you are basically soft-locked in the level. Uh, you need to restart the level. Uh, so that actually went better than I expected, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. It was a pretty uh, good time. Yeah, what time? What was the time on that? 8.16. That's really yeah, good. I don't uh, think you could have asked for a better run. I, I almost certainly could have done, but uh, I don't know if I would have tried. <laughs> Fair no, with, bearing in mind we had some safety strats in that, I think that went uh, that went really, really well. So I will sign off in a second. Um, I do want to shout out my commentary couch, obviously. Uh, having them here has been uh, a tremendous weight off of my mind, honestly. Um, it's It's been nice having them, having people who know the game, who can commentate, because this moves so fast. Uh, there is stuff that we skipped over, obviously. Um... I want to shout out a person in my community uh, whose daughter... It's actually her eighth birthday today, so happy birthday to said daughter. Um, and I think that's about all. Do you, uh, do you lot have anyone you want to shout out? Shout out, shout out. Faizu. <laughs> well, yes, Faizu. I also <laughs> want to shout out the devs because even though this is awful block, I think there were some really awesome ideas. Every level plays different in this. Uh, the graphics look pretty good. Yeah, the game is a little bit uncontrollable, but honestly, uh, you know, that's DOS for you. <laughs> yeah, this, this, <laughs> wasn't, this wasn't early 90s DOS platformer. This was a time when DOS did not really do platformers. We had Commander Keen and uh, a couple of the epic mega games things, and that was largely it. Um, yep. And yeah, that's probably why this game is so unknown. It was a DOS platformer. Um, but yeah, that was The Simpsons Bart's House of Weirdness. It is, to my mind, probably the single least known officially licensed Simpsons game in the world. And uh, I hope you very much enjoyed watching it. Thank you very yeah. much. Well, big thanks to Faizu for that run of, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the name of the game, for The Simpsons Bart's House of Weirdness. That was just absolutely fantastic. I hope y'all are enjoying Awesome Games Done Quick 2022 online. We have a lot more Awful Block coming up for you. We also have a bunch more donations, including Nobody's this really one tried for $100 hard. from Conrad M., who says, first time donating had to do so during Awful Block. Wow. The best block. Well, thank <laughs> you so much, Conrad, this whole run? Great. for sending in that very first donation. I have another donation here for $100 from Mooware. It says, Awful Block is particularly strong in the audio department this year. I'll have to put it in order for new ears next week. But for now, I will turn up the volume and, quote, unquote, enjoy. We have all been, quote, unquote, enjoying Awful Block. Marco sent in $20 and says, Late Night GDQ is the best. How could anyone sleep through the awful block? No, really, some of those games are going to keep me up at night. <laughs> and Gazelda sent in $10 saying, Awful block is best block. Thank you all, as always, for putting on a spectacular event. I do want to remind you all that while you are getting in your generous donations for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, that we are still trying to unlock some incentives, including one coming up pretty soon. You can see it on the schedule there, I am fairly certain. Yes, the Zadet Real Gamer Percent. We are, y'all have been very generous. We are now at a little over $3,400 out of the $5,000. We need to unlock that one. So please do remember to click on those incentives when you are donating. We also have an incentive for Discworld to give the dog a bone. Who doesn't want to give a dog a bone? I mean, come on. So we definitely have a ways to go on that one. We are sitting at almost $3,300 
out of the $10,000 that we need. So please do check out those and some of the other awesome incentives that we have available for you. I have some more donations coming in here from all over the world. Henri sent in $15 and says, greetings from China. It's about 6.30 and I'm enjoying these absolutely atrocious games with my boyfriend. We haven't missed a GDQ since we first started watching it four years ago. Love you. If this gets read, I'll donate an extra $10 so I can tell him I told you so. I'll look for that dono, Henri. <laughs> 